hey guys in this video we'll be simulating a rectifier three phase rectifier so first you'll need a power GUI block and you'll need a three phase source a three phase voltage source so let's change the phase to phase VRMS to 230 volts and the frequency to 50 Hertz So we'll take six diodes. So we'll take one diode and we'll copy paste it five times. And we'll have two diodes on each branch. So we'll have three branches. Now once we connect the three two diodes to each branch, we'll have to connect the voltage source to the branches and short circuit the other terminals of the diodes. Now we'll need uh, a load to measure the voltage across the rectifier. So we'll take an RLC load and convert it to a resistive load. RLC branch to con convert it to a resistive load. So now after doing this, we'll need a voltage measurement block. And we'll also need a capacitor. No, that's for later. So we'll need a scope. And let's run the circuit. Let's run the simulation. So as you guys can see from the scope, the voltage has the waveform has got rectified. So the input voltage, the sinusoidal voltage has got rectified to a DC, but there are ripples. So this can be reduced to a great extent by connecting a capacitor across the load. So what capacitor is basically a is resistant to resistance to change in voltage whereas indu inductance is resistance to change in current so a capacitor will help prevent these ripples so now if you run the circuit and check the output waveform as you can see the ripples are much less it's reduced and it's close to constant voltage so that's it for this video we hope it was helpful and hope it helped you learn how to simulate the circuit and kindly like and share this video to your friends and whoever it may be helpful to and yes kindly check out our other videos and do subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell icon thank you